500 from Baker University, summer of 2009. This is the discussion on a painting or an artist. Uh, I chose from the group one of the artists that was in the list but not the painting. This is Edouard Manet's Le Bar au Foie Berger, or The Bar at Foie Berger. Uh, Edward Manet was born in 1832, died in 1883. This painting was made in 1882 and is usually regarded as his last major painting. Uh, so this is one of the ones that I'm going to discuss today. Edward Manet was into realism and impressionism and this is more of the realism uh, realm of paintings. A couple of things that we're going to talk about is one of the big debates as to what this painting actually has in it and you'll notice that it has originally this woman right here and what some people believe is a reflection because a lot of people believe that the back of this painting is actually a mirror and it's reflecting things in the background. You will notice that this bottle here does signify a bottle over here, label is turned, you have another bottle here which is this bottle and then you see the champagne bottle back here which would be this one here. Same thing over on this side you have this part of a uh, champagne bottle which corresponds to this bottle. So if you look at the sight lines that go across the screen this way, it would signify that this woman is the same woman over here. And when you do compare things, this bottle to this bottle, you will notice that certain aspects like her hand, her hand, hand and hand, midsection, midsection, they do correspond to each other in very similar ways. Uh, so the debate goes on that they want to know, or people try to, to try to clarify whether or not there is a mirror in the background. Otherwise, if you believe that there's not a mirror in the background, you're seeing the other side of a bar, which this would be the inside of the bar here with people sitting along the top of the bar. But then where does the man come in? People who believe that this is a mirror signify that this is a representation of this place with from the perspective of this man who is looking into the mirror and at this woman who he is talking to. So there's two different ways that you can interpret this. One of the things that I usually focus on in this one is the expression of the woman, or the bartender in this case, is she doesn't look too enthusiastic. Uh, I wonder if she feels uncomfortable in this place, and you notice that in her face she has a very dour look. Uh, she almost looks to the point where she's sad, but she is very nicely dressed. I mean, she's wearing lace around the collar, lace around the uh, cuffs. She does have jewelry on, which looks like very expensive jewelry. She has earrings on, so it would signify that she is somewhat upper class. However, she is working in a bar where it looks like there are people of very high class. You see all the men with stovepipe hats. There's two women in the background that look like they are very well adorned. So this looks like a very popular place, a very ritzy place, and she does look like she belongs there, but not really as a bartender. So that is another thing to look at uh, in this painting as well. One of the things I will mention, uh, you will notice that this beer, we have a bottle that looks exactly like the bottle that you will see here in the corner. Uh, Bass Beer, which was around at this time on the label of this bottle. It says that it's been created or around since 1777 and this painting being 1882 that is a, uh, a historic point in here that that kind of beer was around. However, this was a French uh, painter, a, a French artist, most likely you know, since uh, like the title says it is a French bar and one of the other interesting pieces that I picked up uh, doing a little research on this is the idea of having a French beer in a, or a, a British beer in a French bar at this time period was a little unheard of, uh, but not completely unknown. Uh, as far as the realism, you will notice that everybody in here looks very lifelike, the bottles are very lifelike, they have great detail put onto them, at least as far as being able to identify 
some of the characteristics. The flowers look real. You'll notice the oranges here have shades on them, have sheen on them. Uh, the woman definitely has very good facial detail. The man, however, and this goes back to the idea of having a mirror there, the man isn't completely identifiable. He has some muted uh, facial tones. And when you get back to these people, uh, in the background, they also are not very clear and distinct, aside from this one woman here who has some fairly distinct features to her face. Uh, this man, you can tell, has a mustache on him, but you can't really see his eyes. Same with this woman here. You can see that she has something up to her eyes, but you can't tell anything specifically. So another thing to kind of point out is this one woman back here is the only person in the background that has really any features that you can easily identify as being distinct and clear. And that's another point of contention on this painting is, you know, why is there only one person in the background wearing white when all the other people in the background have darker colors on? And why is she a little bit more uh, clear? Is it something that Manet wanted to make between her expression and the person who is sitting at the bar, possibly on the other side of the room or in the other side of the mirror? Uh, was it something that he wanted to get across of possibly that she was looking toward a better life or she was hoping to be that person on the other side? So that's another point that we could discuss as well. Um, I think that's about all I'm going to say about this painting. So I hope you enjoyed my few minute discussion on this. Thank you very much.